Hello comic book community, Lumbox Love Affair here. I have a huge stack of comic books from a haul that I found on Craigslist. So um, these are just the cream of the crop. There's obviously when you buy a, a collection, no matter how big or small it is, usually there is um, a lot of uh, dollar books, 50 cents, 25 cent books, things that um, if you're ever going to sell the collection or, or piecemeal it out, uh, are not worth much. But uh, these are the books that I found uh, in this collection that were really, really exciting. Uh, so, and and I should, you know, disclaimer here, uh, some of these I am selling. Uh, so I have put some of these up on my eBay page. Some of them will be up uh, uh, for the next week. Um, so obviously if you're interested, take a look, uh, but some of these are keepers as well. So one of the ones that I'm actually selling, cause I have two copies already is this incredible Hulk 449. Yep. First Thunderbolts. Uh, unfortunately it's not the newsstand, but, uh, it's an awesome, uh, first appearance of the Thunderbolts, uh, paired with that is Thunderbolts number one. Uh, unfortunately the way this book was stored, uh, it has a curve, um, no crazy spine um, creases. There are spine creases, but um, it, it, it was stored so like the book uh, is, is not flat. So that's unfortunate. Um, that happened with some of the books, not all the books. So number two, I never knew, I only knew this cover for number two, uh, where they reveal the identity of the Thunderbolts as the Masters of Evil, but then there's also this main cover. Uh, so I guess you could consider this the variant. Yeah. Um, so uh, Thunderbolts 2 and Thunderbolts 3. Uh, they didn't have 4 or any of the other ones in there, so just these. I'm, I'm, you know, I was looking for more. Um, some more uh, MCU, Marvel Universe uh, spec uh, that may be alive or dead at the moment. Um, it might be past its due, but Avengers West Coast 56. We got the, uh, the Dark uh, Scarlet Witch newsstand. Um, pretty decent condition. We have West Coast Avengers 45, uh, the first white vision. Uh, which we saw in WandaVision. Uh, not really a spec, but just a fun book. West Coast Avengers 46, the first Great Lakes Avengers. I uh, got some first appearances in there. Uh, this is a book that uh, is frankly just for me, and I don't know why I have looked for this, but um, it's Avengers 326, the first appearance of Rage. Uh, it's a character. I was I was always a New Warriors fan, um, so uh, that that was one that I had always looked for. Captain America 336, uh, so part of the Steve um, Rogers um, and uh, the you know, U.S. agent, you know, when Steve Rogers becomes the captain, um, and you know, we have U.S. John Walker as U.S. agent, so 335, these are just some, some fun ones from, from that run. Uh, Battlestar and the new Captain America 334, new stand, which is always fun. Who will be the next Captain America when John Walker takes over? I believe this is that issue. Um, so we've we've seen that in uh, the uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier show. Uh, Spider Man uh, two thousand eight ninety nine uh, issue number thirty five first appearance of Venom twenty ninety nine just a really cool comic really great condition. Um, also uh, Spider Man two thousand ninety nine number one. There's a little bit of a a run in there, so that's exciting. Uh, she Hulk. Random number two, uh, not number one, but number two uh, in there. Um, and then a couple of other random She-Hulk issues that kind of were exciting to find. 21, but really it's 22, which is a spec book uh, for the scrawl that is impersonating She-Hulk. I think her name is Jazinda or something of that sort. Uh, another book that I was excited to find, well, 51, but 50. Uh, very minty She-Hulk uh, green cover um, there from the... Uh, 90s series. Moving back to Spider-Man, Marvel Tales 272, a cool Ron Lim uh, cover uh, when they reprint the part of the um, uh, the Black Costume Saga, the alien symbiote. Uh, this one was in there, uh, 317, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, we got Venom. This is probably the last uh, Todd McFarlane Venom uh, before Eric Larson took over. Uh, they kind of... Uh, they capture Venom at the end, uh, or actually, does he leave him on the island? It's not quite clear what happens, uh, but then Venom comes back later in the run, maybe 20 issues or so. Uh, so that was that was fun to find, and actually that's one of my favorite covers of, of that McFarlane run, um, with, with, with P, uh, Spidey being taken over by the symbiote. We also got this McFarlane in there, so it's a 328 uh, versus the Hulk. 
Uh, moving on to some DC. There's a lot of DC, a lot of Marvel um, in this set. There are some independents, which I'll talk about uh, in a minute. But we got Rose and Thorn, number one, two. Never collected this run. Um, I had some other issues from this run uh, not too long ago. Um, Green Lantern. This is uh, 143. There was a nice set of the Joker laugh, last laugh uh, storyline and um, a bunch of the Jim Lee covers and the Tim Sale covers. So it's. It, I, I believe what happened was um, you know, some of the tie-ins that there were specific cover artists that took over uh, the duties. And so Jim Lee did this one. He did a Wonder Woman. He did a Supergirl, a Flash, a Man of Tomorrow. And there might have been one more. And I can't remember what that one is. Maybe it's the Screen Lantern. Uh, and maybe I didn't mention that one. So I think there were about six. So I love, I love these covers. Um, it's too bad they're not worth much, but this is just more sentimental admiration. Um, Man of Steel, number one, newsstand. Superman Man of Steel 18, the first appearance of Doomsday, first print. Uh, okay, Green Lantern, Emerald Twilight, 48. And uh, The Aftermath with Kyle Rayner, uh, 52. Not the first impulse, but the second impulse in Flash 95. Had a couple Wonder Womans in there, but I like this uh, cover. The Wonder Woman 197, Adam Hughes uh, with Flash on there. This might be one of the last Adam Hughes uh, Flash covers. Or, I'm sorry, Adam Hughes Wonder Woman covers. Um, just for me, I don't know if there's any spec value to this, uh, but I, I really like these um, Jim Chung covers to Avengers The Initiative. Um, so here's a, an assortment of them that I'm just going to show off. Uh, and this, these books have some first appearances in them. Uh, there, there could be some legs to them. I thought I heard some spec talk that might be far off spec. Um, and I'm not sure what that is. So I, I, I really couldn't say, but these covers are cool. The artwork is cool. Um, and, uh, I remember really liking this series back when, uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, coming out next up. Got some G.I. Joe Transformers action. Uh, this is uh, the Marvel Universe um, 25th anniversary border uh, uh, run that they did at that particular month or year. Uh, this is issue number 53. It's a newsstand. Uh, we got 57. I've always found collections with random G.I. Joe books in them. Uh, same thing with Transformers, random Transformers. I don't, I've only found one collection that was early on in my collection purchasing um, a couple, maybe three years ago, and it had um, a good first, you know, several issues of Transformers. So this is issue number five. And I think that's sort of the first issue of the ongoing run and issue number six. And those that one's a newsstand. Um, G.I. Joe starring Snake Eyes and Transformers, 135. I think these are probably lower print. Next up, just a couple of randoms. Astounding Wolfman, number one, Free Comic Book Day. Uh, that's a Robert Kirkman property. Eventually, it crossed over into Invincible. Um, really like this uh, Tom Rainey cover on Mutant X Annual 2001. Um, that was a series I really enjoyed when I picked it up at the cons many years ago, uh, just in dollar bins. Uh, and then issue 31 and 32, the final issue. Um, it's, it's just got some really great rainy art, uh, and it's a Havoc storyline, which I'm a big fan of Havoc. Um, next up, just for uh, giggles here, Prime number one, we got the first uh, Spider Prime. Um, very far-fetched. I don't think it's, he's ever gonna appear, but I, I wanted to keep that out in the collection. Uh, Punisher War Journal 80, the final issue. Um, this was a whole low print of um, this countdown series, and this is the final issue in that storyline. Really sad to see this. Uh, Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham, coverless. Coverless. There are a couple coverless books in there, and that, that were probably valuable ones. Um, they're probably on this kid's wall as a kid. Uh, Incredible Hulk 324, uh, The Return of the Gray Hulk uh, newsstand. This is a beater. It's got a lot of spine ticks in it. What can you do? All right, not too many more, uh, but I'm, I'm just still a stack. Ren and Stimpy Show, number six, Dan Slott doing Spider-Man for the first time, uh, and the first appearance of the Powdered Toast Man. Batman Annual 25. Uh, this is, I believe, the origin of the Red Hood and how he comes back. Jason Todd comes back to life. Uh, this is a first print. Uh, it's hard book to keep in good condition because uh, of the black. 
This was a happy surprise. Flash Secret Files and Origin number three. This is the first appearance of Zolomon Hunter, uh, who is uh, Zoom, Professor Zoom, the new, uh, I think this may be the third Professor Zoom, maybe, um, but the current one uh, that was big into the storyline of The Flash in the 2000s. Uh, so uh, this is uh, from 2001, Scott Collins artwork. Uh, really cool find in there to, to have that. I, I, I do like that Professor Zoom character. Um, Mighty Thor 432. I believe this is the issue where um, Eric Masterson uh, is, uh, is it first appearance or he becomes Thor. Um, I think it's where he becomes Thor. Uh, it's just a, a cool minor key. Here's the other coverless one. And for any of you that know what this is, this is the is this the second appearance of Rocket Raccoon uh, outside of the magazine format, but probably the first in, ter in terms of the regular um, Marvel comics. This is um, Hulk 271. Uh, so it's a, it's a shame that uh, it is coverless. Flash Iron Heights. Always love this book. Uh, it's artwork by Ethan Van Skyver, uh, and it's a prestige format, um, not Elseworlds. It's just it's continuity, and it introduces a variety of different rogues from the, the Flash Rogues Gallery. There's a whole lot of Quasar. Uh, never read Quasar. Um, if I had more time, I probably would read all of these, but um, this one is, I picked a couple that were cool. Uh, Quasar 30, um, first appearance of um, Venom Thor, so the first time a character ever has been Venomized. Um, this is more of a what if type of story. Uh, from what I understand, this character does not appear in the story. It's just on the cover. Cool Todd McFarlane, Quasar 14. Uh, classic McFarlane artwork. I believe that's before his time on Spider-Man or maybe right around the same time. Uh, Quasar number nine, first appearance of Modan, not Modoc. I picked up uh, these in there, or I pulled these out specifically. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 97 and 99, first appearance of Nightwatch. Um, I guess maybe before costume and then uh, once he gets in costume. There was some spec on that character as with a potential Spike Lee movie. I don't know. With, with any spec, you never quite know if it's going to pan out. Web of Spider-Man 86, uh, Demon Goblin. I love that character. I think that's his first appearance. Um, first appearance of Crown, I believe, Peter Parker, Spider-Man 76. There's some talk about uh, this uh, being a character or an organization in um, in the uh, Morbius movie. Whether that actually is the case or not, we will find out. And then I always love finding those New Warriors, number one, and this is a newsstand. Never had this before, but I remember seeing this uh, when I was a kid and, and wanting to look into it because I just wanted everything Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man graphic novel, Parallel Lives. It's oversized, makes it harder for me to store, but I will probably uh, read this at some point. Alex Selvig art. The last group of books are uh, Boys. Uh, there was a nice little mid-run of the boys uh, from the Dynamite books. So starting with issue seven, which is the first one, um, Dynamite took over because I think they became a little too racy for Wildstorm, DC Wildstorm. So they got kicked out and they renewed their publishing with Dynamite because Dynamite didn't care. Uh, and there's two copies of Boys number eight, Boys number nine, Boys 10, Boys 11, which is a book that is now taking off the first appearance of Little Nina, who was apparently in The Boys Season 3. Uh, I need to look up and see when that debuts. These are all near mint. They're, they're really great condition because they're some of the few that was, were bagged and boarded. Boys 12, Boys 13, Boys 14, Boys 15, and Boys 16. So that is the haul. This is just a, a, a little bit of, of the box of comics that I, I picked up and uh, a couple boxes of comics. And I'm uh, just excited to um, have found these. Um, like I said, some of them I've put on eBay, some of them I'm keeping. Um, but it's always fun to dig through someone's collection and, and, and see what gems are in there. So hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you like what you see. Comment down below and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.